Okay, double stops. Okay, so what are double stops? Okay, so double stops are just two notes played at the same time. That's all it is. So, the um, thing is, you probably mostly already know all of these things and can basically do them straight away because uh, this is how you do it. Uh, if I was to play a lick, um, something like this. If I was to play that and then just play the notes that appear inside that lick, uh, something like this. Okay, now if I was to go to the uh, has note of that, which is a G, and then I would uh, go a string down and just continue those notes down uh, while holding that top note. I would get, uh, instantly I would get double stops just by doing that alone, um, which is uh, pretty crazy uh, when you think about it, because uh, when I uh, first started, uh, you know, it, it, you would have had to have learned a song to get these ideas, you know, but they're right there in front of you. All you have to do is connect them up. So that's, let me see, that's one, two, that's five double stops already. Um, and like I say, you can do different shapes in that. Um, like I started with a high G, I could maybe use the F note right here, like. Um, it doesn't really matter. Uh, they all work over a G. So there's only one thing missing because that's just one element. You need the, uh, uh, that's the double stop. What you would need then is the pivot note, as I would call it. Uh, a note that sews all this stuff together. Um, so if we take those same notes again, uh, like I say, we're not even thinking scales or anything here. Um, if we took those same notes that we played and we made a shape out of it, like that, which happens to be a fifth, uh, fifth interval, doesn't matter. Uh, and then we get this B flat note on open G, right, as the pivot notes. Uh, create a little loop, it would sound something like this. That would be uh, the first step uh, in creating something that just seems infinite, you know. Uh, so from there, uh, it's probably time to move on to the other place where you get these, and that's from scale. Um, visualizing shapes inside a scale and the easiest scale there is would be the minor pentatonic so let's uh, if you don't know it this is all it is that's the minor pentatonic scale um, but the the first thing that I usually do is try to visualize uh, the information in shapes and patterns. So if you noticed, this finger here is always hitting uh, a note on the third fret. That means we can almost draw a line down the fretboard and just say we can, you know, instantly just say we can use all that information. So what you do is, or where to start, I suppose, is to uh, play the top half, which again, the interval there is a fourth. Um, we'll get into intervals later on. But, um, so if we take those two notes and then from the rest of the notes in that scale, we create the pivot notes. And like I say, you start off with a little loop. Okay, a little loop like that and then what you do is you take that shape and just bring it a, a string down each time uh, something like this mm -hmm. 
something like that. And it's because what that shows you is that you can move these things around uh, because that's probably the first thing that hits you, you know, is how do you get a long stream of information? And uh, that's, that's the best place to start is the, uh, is the pentatonic. Um, uh, of course, that pivot, uh, they, those pivot notes can move a, around. Um, like if I was to play this, I could uh, move this uh, up one fret because remember that's, remember that's the blue scale. So this note here can be used. So if I just, So I can move this about, <clears throat> and that's where you kind of uh, learn how to move these shapes about, you know, but like I say, it's, it's, it takes a little practice, you know. Um, there is another element to this again, uh, but I, I'd rather not get into it just at the minute uh, because it opens up so much. Uh, but I'll tell you what it is, it's the major blues scale superimposed over the G minor which sounds complicated, but uh, the G major uh, blues is, sounds like this. Sounds like that. Now, if you superimpose that over a G minor, in other words, add all the notes together, it sounds something like this. Which is a kind of, it's a lot of information. That's where you get the kind of, uh, that's where you get the rest of them. Uh, you see a lot of blues turnarounds um, used with that. Um, but like I say, we'll use that as, we'll cover that in a later, in a later video. Or I do lessons online. Um, I'll leave the, uh, I'll put the uh, Skype ID just below. Um, let me see. Yeah, this, this was actually part of a, a, a request. Um, there was a lot of, uh, a lot of information uh, in that request. So I just answered part of that in a simple way. Um, but I will get to the rest of those. Um, also the other comments, um, like I say, what I'm doing is basically screenshot all those uh, requests. So I haven't forgotten any of those. And uh, like I say, just keep the requests coming in just so I know exactly what people want. Um, and let me see. Yeah. So what I'll do now though is what I'll, I'll play the intro again and this time include the tablisher. And uh, you can just see for yourself just how far you can, how far you can go, how many choices you have with, um, with uh, this idea once you get all the concepts together. So thanks again for tuning in and uh, hopefully we'll see you again next week. Cheers.